Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Today's lesson is a collage radial symmetry. For this assignment, you'll need some various colors of construction paper, some scissors, and some glue. When picking your construction paper colors, you might wanna think about incorporating a color scheme. My color scheme is analogous colors, but they're also cool colors. Let's learn a little bit more about the project and let's get started. Here you can see I've gotten up my supplies. You need a background piece of paper where you're going to be gluing your radial collage to. This one happens to be eight inches by eight inches. And I have my selection of scrap paper that I'm gonna be cutting to create the design. I chose another set of analogous colors and then this time I'm on the warm color side of the spectrum. You wanna make shapes be similar. And so to do this, you're gonna be doing some folding and cutting. If I start with my first piece of paper, I might fold it in half one way and in half another way. And then I could open it up and cut on those folds and I would get four triangles. I also could just cut a shape out of the center of this to get something else. Let's take a look here. Maybe I'll cut a curved shape out. And then when I spread them out, you can see I have four. Now, when you're laying your shapes down, you wanna think about this as a grid. And if you would like, one way to help think about the grid is to fold your background paper in half and then in half the opposite way. This gives you four sections. You could take it to the next level and even fold corners to corners, which looks like this. Now I have eight sections. And so along those fold lines, those are your guidelines, which are gonna help you decide where you're laying shapes out. So maybe one of my shapes is going to go along this guideline, pointing towards the outside corner. I take that shape and just rotate it down this way, line it up, rotate it, line it up and rotate it. We have some more shapes cut out ahead of time. So you can just kind of like play with the shapes for a little bit. Decide what your overall design is going to look like by moving things closer or apart, overlapping designs. Here's a nice big piece of paper. If we fold it in half and in half again, let's, I'm gonna cut one edge just so that all of the papers are open now. Line them up again. And now I'm gonna cut a big curve. These big curves could even go underneath something else. And then I can start stacking things. Maybe like, ooh, like that. I think I have something here with that. Typically radial designs have a lot of pattern and a lot of design to them. So the more shapes you have, the better and stronger your overall design will be. So really keep layering things together playing with them and figuring out what is gonna feel right for your overall design. When you're ready to start gluing, work on gluing the shapes from the top all the way down to the bottom layers. So for instance, that means I would glue this shape to this one before gluing it on my background paper. Let's demonstrate gluing. We're using glue sponges. Glue sponges is simply a Ziploc box with glue bottle glue and a sponge. Taking my shape, gently press, coats the back with a nice thin amount of glue using pincher fingers. I'm gonna pinch, pull up, you can see the glue there, and then lay it on the next shape. Maybe even massage the back to ensure that that's stuck before doing the next one. 
bigger shapes, you might have to move a few times to get them coated. Another shape that you can cut out is a circle. Let's review how to cut a circle out. I could cut one circle or many if I have the paper stacked by just kind of freehanding it, cutting around until you feel like it's round enough. If you want a more perfect circle, you could trace it. Keep working on your design, adding more layers to it to create a more complex and radial design.